here. Men usually like peace. And most people pray to be able to live peaceable life. But whether we like it or not, and whether we believe it or not, war has been declared against us. And every believer is involved in one form of warfare or the other. I want you to understand that Satan hates us and is actively trying to destroy us. So this is not a time to relax. This is time to practice aggressive warfare, aggressive praying, aggressive reading of the word of God, aggressive holiness, so that you will be able to key in to the victory that the Lord has won for us already. So we are going to deal with a specific area this morning. And we have quite a lot of prayers to pray. I'm looking at what I call dealing with Luciferian night farmers. Dealing with Luciferian night farmers. And it is good for you to be very attentive and to pray the prayers with all the holy madness you can gather. Dealing with Luciferian night farmers. Many years ago, a man went to a church. It was a Baptist church. And he didn't enter too closely because he had never been to a church before. He sat somewhere close outside. And he waited for them to finish their wedding and whatever they were doing and he went home. And he didn't think too much about what he had done. But at night, somebody tapped his feet on his bed. It was these short creatures. And said, you, why did you go to church? You are not supposed to go to church. So be very careful. You step into the next church, we will make your glory to sink. I didn't take it seriously. Who are you anyway? The thing disappeared. It was a night farmer. Somebody has had something to do in their office. Follow that one to church. But the next night again, this thing was back. And that was all this brother remembered. Nothing again. That's all he remembered. By the time they brought him to that crusade, he was in chains. He was already mad. It was until they prayed for him and he came down, he was able to recollect this short thing warning him. Psalm 74 verse 20. Psalm 74 verse 20. I want to read some five scriptures very quickly. Psalm 74 20 says, After respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth, they are full of the habitations of cruelty. There is a place known as dark places of the earth. And what they practice there is wickedness incarnate. They plan wickedness, operate wickedness, project wickedness, and program wickedness. But the place is dark. The key word is the darkness. In Job chapter 4, if you open back a little bit, in Job chapter 4, look at it from verse 12. Job chapter 4, verse 12. Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and my hair received a little thereof, in thirst from the visions of the night. When deep sleep falleth on men, fear came upon me, and trembling which made all my bones to shake. Then what happened? Then a spirit passed before my face. The air of my flesh stood up. Here was Job experiencing a ghost or a spirit at night. Now in Matthew chapter 13, which we all know, Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. This is Jesus speaking now. And every word that Jesus spoke is pregnant with meanings. Matthew 13 verse 25. But while men slept, his enemy came. And what did he do? He sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. The enemy chose the hour of darkness, the hour of sleep, and then came to do his farming, his plantation. In Luke chapter 22, Luke 22, look at what Jesus said in verse 53. Luke 22, 53. We're talking about dealing with Luciferian night farmers. Luke 22, 53. Jesus said, when I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. He said, but this is your hour. 
and the hour also of the powers of darkness. There is a hour known as the hour of darkness. There is a power known as the power of darkness. Jesus admitted it. So this is your hour. Fine. You can do what you want now. But time is coming. In Ephesians chapter 5 now. Ephesians chapter 5. I read from verse 11. Ephesians 5, 11. This is what the Bible says. Ephesians 5, 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Reprove them, the Bible says. Now we've gathered together a small array of scriptures, teaching us one or two lessons here and there. There are arrays of wicked powers that operate in the night. No wonder the psalmist prayed in Psalm 13. Very interesting prayer that the man prayed in Psalm number 13. I think it's good for you to open to that place. Because of this array of wicked powers that operate in the night, the psalmist prayed this prayer. Psalm 13 from verse 1. How long will thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long will thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Having sorrow in my heart daily. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten mine eyes. Can you say that loud and clear? Say it again louder than that. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lighting my eyes means don't allow me to go into slumber. Let me not sleep the kind of sleep that night farmers will come and I will not know they have come. If you don't lighten those eyes and the spirit of slumber takes over, the answer is the sleep of death. Verse 4. Lest my enemy say, I've prevailed against him and those that trouble me rejoice when I'm moved. All because of slumber. Sleep. Slumber, sleep, folding of hand, slumber, sleep, and that is the hour the enemy uses to operate. Many of us still need to understand the principle of backing prayers. When somebody begins to back prayers at night, he doesn't know what he's doing yet. Until God opens his eyes, I begin to see the things going on in the spirit. Those of you who sleep at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, God have mercy on you. Because there are things that happen after you've gone to bed. While men are asleep, the enemy comes to attack and to destroy what they had labored for. Luciferian night farmers operate every night. They know that your sleeping hour is your weakest hour. They know that when you are asleep, it's like you are a bit helpless. So they go and harass and torment people. And most of the trouble that we sometimes wake up with and situation we face in the day, had already been programmed at night. That's why we used to tell people in those days, if you had a bad night, you have a bad day. Because the enemy will have programmed things there. The night farmers causes people to be demoted. They cause people to be disturbed. They cause people to be derailed. They cause people to be dominated. They cause people to be disgraced. They cause people to be downgraded. They cause people to be dismantled. They cause people to be diverted. Almost half of the deliverance problems that we go and pray against are problems from the powers of the night. And most of those things that we call dreams, 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 dreams. They are not dreams. Put in proper Bible perspective. They are what the Bible calls night vision. Night vision. A sister had a dream and she found herself on a mat. And there was another person at the front of the mat. And the mat was flying. And she said, why am I on this mat? Why is this mat flying? The driver of the mat did not answer, but they went on. When the driver of the mat did not want to stop, the sister now yelled, she cried out, You evil mat, drop me in the name of Jesus. And she dropped down from that mat, landed on the floor, and woke up immediately. And back pain started. That was how the back pain started. And by the time they got to the hospital, this one said, Sleep this kid, sleep something. They mentioned one name, but some, she got thrown down. From a fly mat, operated, organized, 
and programmed by the Luciferian night farmers. When a farmer plants, he's expecting something to come up. And when the thing begins to come up, the farmer may not even behave as if he was one that planted it. So the night farmers, they cause people to be disillusioned. They cause people to be defeated. They deaden people's destiny. They cause people to be diseased. A lot of the terrible infirmities are planted by night farmers. And when these are planted, the doctors are completely helpless because their x-ray cannot detect the plantation. They cause people to be discouraged. They drain people's spiritual lives. Who and what are these night farmers? This is where the warfare of this money will start. The first group of night farmers that the Bible identifies for us is the powers from the moon that smited by night. The Bible says the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The second power that the Bible identifies is the terror by night. There is a terror that moves about in the night. The third power that the Bible identifies is the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Pestilence that walketh in darkness. God have mercy on you if you, have, if you are still roaming around parties at night. Your spiritual life is still that low that you attend these useless parties in the night. You are writing invitation letters to pestilence that walketh in darkness. The fourth power is the spirit of heaviness. A spirit that comes upon the person and the person loses motivation. Wake up in the morning, you don't feel like doing anything. Somebody wakes up in the morning, it's as if he's praying that the morning should not even come. A spirit of heaviness. Then the fifth power is the spirit of death and hell. The spirit of death and hell. A lot of people have slept last night, they didn't wake up. A lot of people just pack up on their beds. And they went to bed hale and healthy. No trouble. By the time the night flamers moved in, they caused trouble. The seventh power is sorrow, the spirit of sorrow. The eighth one is the spirit of suicide. And the eighth one is the spirit of infirmity. They move at night and capture so many people. The night one is the marine powers. There is plenty of that in this country. Plenty of that in this Lagos, which the people of Lagos proudly call the city of aquatic splendor. Marine powers moving all over the place. The tenth power is what is known as familiar spirits. The eleventh one is the witchcraft spirits, which has become an institution in this part of the world. And now it's spreading rapidly all over the world until witchcraft is now becoming a university course where you can even get a degree for studying it. The twelfth one is the forest powers moving about and causing ritual killing and terrible things to happen. The thirteenth one is the wandering spirits. Just vagabond, afflicting people. Take this exam, take that exam, go to this place, try this profession. You really don't know what to do. The 14 one are what the Bible calls the evil angels. There are evil angels. And they do a lot of plantation into people's lives. The 15 one is satanic agents. Human satanic agents. Who have the power to go out of their bodies to go and afflict other people. The 16 one has the wicked personalities. Wicked personalities on evil assignments. Very wicked personalities. And they go at night... While a person has gone to bed, they start their incantation and chantings and they do their occultic practices. This is a very sad situation. When a wicked personality refuses to go to bed and is chanting a person's name for hours and this person whose name is being chanted is fast asleep and is completely ignorant of what was happening in the spiritual realm. This 17th power is the occultic powers. A lot of it now in our country. All the large societies, the cult societies, this is where they draw their powers from. You will be deceiving yourself to think that you will call yourself a child of light and these powers will like you. You'll be deceiving yourself that you'll be working in an office and somebody is a large member, this one is a cult member, and you think they are your friends. They may be smiling at you, but inside they hate you with perfect hatred. They hate him my farmer. Is a spirit wife or spirit husbands? Many of us understand what we're talking about. The 19th one is the ancestral strong men or spirits. 
Like the short creature that came to that fellow and said, don't go to church. You are not supposed to be there. And he went and it, and it made him mad. The 20th one are the recruitment, satanic recruitment agents. They initiate people into witchcraft. And therefore a lot of people are into what they themselves do not understand. The 21st one are the spirits impersonating the dead. Somebody will say they saw, their, they saw his dead father, they saw his dead mommy. They saw familiar spirits impersonating the dead. 22nd are the satanic spies. They are not really there to do harm. They are just there to spy on how far you have gone and report back to the headquarters. I pray that every evil monitoring power that has made anybody's matter here a full-time work shall be buried this morning in the name of Jesus. The 23rd one are the necromancers. They contact the grave. The 24th one are the enchanters. 25th are the counterfeit agents. Counterfeit agents. They appear as angels, but they are not. They are not nothing entirely. They appear to give somebody revelations, but it's all fake. 26 are the dream manipulators. Turn people's dream upside down. They confuse the person. They show you your enemy as your friend, and your friend as your enemy. And so you now get confused. The one that is praying for you, they show you that one as a witch. And the ones that want to drink your blood, they present the person as your best friend. 27 is the drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh. And um, beloved, I tell you, there are plenty of those around. Plenty. They are now even increasing. And their technology is getting better and better. So that a person could be sitting down like this and they would drain the person dry and you don't know. I saw a sister like that. We saw her just a few hours ago playing with people and joking with people. And in nice few hours a day, she's been admitted. And the doctor said, I don't believe you are alive. Saying so this kind of blood level, you are not supposed to be walking about. They began to look for blood transfusion for somebody who we were talking to two hours ago. She said, No, no, no. I don't want blood transfusion. Give me the anointing oil. She drank. And by the next morning, they tested it again. So, so we don't know what happened. You, your blood level has gone up. Drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh. 28 powers, night planters. There are spirits from the second heavens. Spirits operating above who are on evil assignment. 29. At the night caterers distributing food. Evil food to people. Sometimes it may even be you who will do the cooking yourself. Cook it and start eating. This is a caterer. Catering for yourself in the night. Church is the sorcerers. 31st, the diviners. 32nd, the spiritual armed robbers. They've come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 33 are the demon idols. Send them around to do evil things. 34 are the evil pursuers. 35 are the evil summoners. Summon people out of their bodies and put evil decree on their heads. 36 are the masquerade powers. 37 are the satanic animals. Let me stop here for now. Because of this kind of array of power of darkness, while Jesus himself was on the cross, there was a time there was darkness for some time before light came again. Darkness is a terrible thing. Darkness is very uncomfortable. Darkness will cause a man to lose his way. Darkness causes a man to wander about. In darkness, there is the binding power of the enemy. In that darkness, your best friend may harm you without your knowledge. This is why the psalmist says, Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. This morning we are here to wage war against the powers and activities of these Luciferian night farmers. The night hour is very, very, very critical. If you are a good reader of scripture, by the time you read about the prayers of Jesus, you begin to ask some questions. For example, Jesus had to choose the night to go and pray with these three disciples. The prayer at Gethsemane was night prayer. Why did he choose the night? That is, there are some prayers that can be prayed in the day. There are some prayers that can only be prayed in the night. The Bible says, would the Lord not avenge his saints who call up upon him day and night? There are some prayers you pray in the day that are not as effective as they will be at night. Why are some powers, some prayers powerless in the day but very powerful at night? 
Because in most cases, the council meeting of the headquarters of evil will have closed. Many of us are busy attacking the meeting that has already closed. They've held the meeting, they've closed. And now you begin to attack what they've closed. You were there, you didn't attack the individual members who were coming for the meeting. They, all of them came, none of them were sick. When they came, they brought the agenda. Your name was number one on the list. They, you allowed them to discuss the agenda. Then they were holding the meeting. You did not attack that meeting. Then they took some verdict and decisions around 1 a.m. You did not attack that decision. They dispatched someone to go and carry out their decisions. You did not attack that power. Then when you're about to go to work in the morning, every wish grab garden against me is cut out. That may work against next day, but not the one they are done. They've already finished, concluded that one. I pray that God will open our understanding and will be to understand these things. Back to the Matthew chapter 13. Matthew 13, verse 24 again. Matthew 13 from verse 24. Another parable put it forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which had sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and then sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. When evil instructions have been passed against you at night, they will sometimes only come as messengers in the daytime to confirm that the thing was growing. Pardon my language this morning. If you kill them in the night, you will not see them in the daytime. It is normally when we sleep that the host of hell plan their operation. You can stop their plan against you by engaging in prayers at night. Night prayer is a mystery of survival. Many of us don't know. When you send arrows of prayer at night, it enters right into the heart of the enemy. The witch doctors and the abalists are only consulting doctors in the afternoon. We just register the name of his patient in the day. The night is the real operation. Some demons rest in the day because they can only draw power at night. If you bind those demons in the day, you always see time. God expects us to make at least a sacrifice of one hour with him at night before we sleep. He told the disciples, you mean you cannot watch with me for just one hour? One, one hour. Jesus would have told them. This is what I wanted to pray. And he told them. Jesus wanted to feel the effect of their prayers. But their eyes were not lightened like the psalmist said. The sleep has taken over. Slumber has captured them. The bed has become the champion. And then the enemy is able to operate very effectively. When you program one hour into your night, when you now sleep, the angels of God and the hosts of heaven, they will continue to repeat what you said throughout the night. Throughout the night. I want you to understand that the best time to catch a thief is when he's in the act. This is what night prayer does. All those birds making noise and shouting, they don't normally use the day. All the baby cats and all those things screaming during the night, they avoid the day. Because it's in the night they drop power. What are we going to do this morning? Number one is that if you are here and you are living in any known sin, whether internal or external, you will not be able to arrest the Luciferian night planters. If you come to this church, you are still drinking, smoking, you will not be able to arrest these powers. They will just be busy planting their plantations. And when they finish planting their plantations, then you, the, an evil plant will grow. Close your eyes now, beloved. I want you to raise one hand to the heavenlies and decree like this. Anything in my life that will make me a prey to the powers of darkness, get out. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree anything at all that will make me pray to the powers of darkness. Get out in the name of Jesus. Mm. 
Masikarabo shemperabo suntunda kaya boshante. Jesus name we pray. So the first thing is to make sure there is no known sin in your life. The second thing which I encourage you to start as from tonight if you are not doing so already is to start a night watch with the Lord. Don't plan on doing five hours, six hours at a run if you cannot do it. It is beneficial for you to pray for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour while you are wide awake and you are alert, you are on your feet than to try and do four hours and you are slumbering. Because it will terribly affect you. Then for those of you who don't have enough time for quiet time in the morning, use your night very well. If you start a night watch with the Lord, your life will never remain the same again. The night is the time to come against all these respective meeting places of darkness. And night prayer should not be generalized. Because that is the time to counter any altar that has been set up against you. It's time to break all incantations made on your behalf. That is the time to ask the enemy to release your name if they've captured your name. That is the time to make people who are hoeing you to pay back. If our colleagues are denying themselves sleep to go to the devil in order to tidy up their business deals, then why are we claiming to be tired? I will want money. When they do and seal up everything at night, they take the name of the managing director, they take the name of the general manager, they take the name of whoever is to approve the contract, and they go and do their satanic night vigil on them to get approval. And then you want the same contract, but you are sleeping. I want you to understand this. But when you begin to operate this way, some people will be afraid of you. I know a man who was threatened by the head of the witchcraft in the area. And he used to boast, I'm the head of witchcraft organization in this place. Anybody who messes up will get into trouble. So one day this child of God stood against him. I said, you call yourself the head of witchcraft in this place? So I decree that you will die in seven days. When after the brother said it, he was now afraid. Okay. He now did a rigorous follow-up. Right from the day he made that pronouncement, he too started a vigil. The pastor, having learned the secret of the night, began to declare that as the Lord liveth, as his spirit liveth, it shall be unto that man according to the words of my mouth. Because who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Who is defying the power of God? If God be God, let the sentence that I pass follow him. In fact, the book of is beloved. By the fifth day, worms had eaten the man up for daring to counter the power of God. So, keep a night watch with the Lord. If you can't start with one hour, start with 30 minutes. If you can't do 30 minutes, 15 minutes. I mean, 15 minutes on your feet, wide awake. Any prayer you pray with a pillow on your chest cannot arrest night planters. You heard me now. The prayer you are praying, uh, 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 yeah. you will not arrest any night planter. Because they are wide awake. And they know what they are doing. So they wait for you. They know you will soon slip off. So the time you are shouting, blah, 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 blah. They wait. Then when you begin to slumber, and they come in. Do their plantation. In a few minutes, they are gone. Make up your mind. The third thing is to know the kind of prayers to pray. And God has blessed this ministry with a lot of books that you can use, that you can pray. This morning, we have a lot of prayers to pray here. And I want to counsel you to pray vigorously. Now, if you know that you have been a victim of night planters, you can remember an experience when you were physically attacked. You can remember an experience when they press you down on your bed. Then you should be more aggressive. Many years ago, when I was in my show, I didn't know too much. One night, I was on my bed. All of a sudden, somebody said, son, open your eyes. And as I opened my eyes by the window, there was this creature standing there. The head was like the head of a gorilla. The rest of the body was human being. He was looking at me on the bed. And I was looking at him. I see both of us were planning what to do. He spoke first. He said, I'm from Efala. He said, I don't know anybody in that place. What are you doing here? He said, I've been sent here. He said, okay, you go back to whoever sent you. And said, I asked you to carry the arrows you brought here and deposit it there. And it disappeared. This is him again. But later I heard of what happened. 
rise up on your feet, beloved. And all eyes closed. The first seven prayers I want you to pray is what we call the magnet prayers. The magnet prayers are prayers that draw good things to you. This is to withdraw those things that have been taken away. When we finish these ones, we will now go into the uprooting prayers to uproot what the night planters have planted. Then when we finish that one, we will now go to the barricading prayer. So if they have been approaching you easily before and they have been getting away free of charge, today will be the expiry date of that kind of free movement for the powers of darkness. I counsel you not to joke with any prayer I ask you to pray here today on this wonderful Sunday morning. Because this place has already been surrounded by the angels of the living God. But before we start the prayers, if there is any sin in your life, this is a personal matter now. Sort yourself out with God. Sort it out. Don't come here and go home the same. Don't come say, I'm going for Sunday service and you came home with nothing. Don't come with a basket. Because the basket will not hold water. Is your mouth dirty like that of Isaiah? Ask him to forgive you. You drink, you smoke. Even as we're talking here now, you have uh, alcohol in your fridge at home. The night planters will finish you off. You may, you may, may seem as if nothing is happening now. It's like a termite inside a tree. And it's already eating up what is inside the tree. Ask him to forgive you. In Jesus' name we pray. Seven prayers of magnets. And as many people have spread them in faith, they will begin to experience instant manifestation. <laughs> Say, I shall walk away from here. With a miracle. It's a confession, it's a prayer, it's a magnet thing. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I shall walk away from here with a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I am not going home without a miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. Things are happening already. Say, I tear away. Can you shout that loud and clear? Every power of shame from my face. I tear away every power of shame from my face. In the name of Jesus. Tear them away. In the name of Jesus. Tear them away. In the name of Jesus. I tear away every power of shame from my face in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so signs and wonders envelop my destiny in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders envelop my destiny in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray say my father in the queue of life move me to the front can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Move me from where I am to the front. Declare it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
said, this is my season of testimony. I must shine by fire in the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself, beloved. Pray for yourself. This is my season of testimony. I must shine by fire. I must shine. I must shine. Jesus name we pray shout the battle cry of Zerubbabel after me now who art thou great mountain before Daniel Olukoya can you shout this loud and clear be shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus, command it to be shattered to pieces. In the name of Jesus, be shattered to pieces. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus. Jesus name we pray say divine alarm for my promotion can you shout this loud and clear shout it again louder than that cry out in the name of Jesus let the alarm cry out in the name of Jesus, Masika Poyabo Shenteraba, divine alarm for my promotion. Crowd! In the name of Jesus, cry out, cry out! In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. My time of favor. Appear in the name of Jesus. Decree this, decree this. Decree it. my time of favor. Appear, 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 appear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my hidden glory. Say this loud and clear. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Yes. My hidden glory. Manifest, manifest, manifest. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, you environmental wickedness. Hear me and hear me well. My time has come. Can I hear the sister shouting this? I want that my time has come to be louder than that. Sisters? Sisters, can we have you say it again? Uh-huh. Hear me. Uh-huh. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. And now sister them. Yes. Everybody together now. In the name Jesus, declare it. They must know, they must hear. They must know, they must hear. In the name of Jesus. Masapokoyabo Shenterabokolabaraba. 
Mopia Rika Sapunde Kayabo Shente. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every mention of my name become poison in the mouth of the enemy. This is a serious prayer. And I believe you should pray it well. Can I hear everybody shouting it again loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Yes. Become poison. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands as you sing this song loud and clear to praise the Lord for what he has done in your life already. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty and he is to come Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Beloved, don't be tired. We now go to the uprooting session. I don't know what has been planted in your business. I don't know what has been planted in your marriage. I don't know what has been planted in your body. But I know that night planters are doing a work. And I know that there is a power that can uproot what they are planted. And if you want, the same power can plant it back to where they brought it from. This is why you must not joke with this uprooting prayers now. Say this after me with holy anger. The power of the grave. The power of, the the power of death. The power of Get out of my way right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, power of the grave. And the power of death. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, uh -huh. look at what is happening now. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. There is a whole destiny being repaired over there. Everything about your life is being renewed. I mean everything. This is number two now. Every harassment in my dream. You shall not stand. You shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. You shall not stand. We shall not come to pass.
Ahá, 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 ahá. They shall not stand, they shall not come to pass. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are afraid, don't pray this next prayer. Oh, because anything can happen. Arrows of death and destruction. Targeted against me in my sleep. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Arrows of death and destruction. Targeted against me in my sleep. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Backfire. 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 Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Declare it. Declare it. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Every spiritual coffin beats for my sake. Catch your owner. In the name of Jesus. Just refuse to be arrested by any spiritual coffin. name we pray shout this loud and clear now every poison deposited into my body then you will now say blood of Jesus kill them in the name of Jesus Every poison deposited into my body. Blood of Jesus. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Masepokoya boshentera bokolaba. Ribo sepende kaya boshentera ba. Masepela kaya boshentera bokopola baraba. Yes. Aha, aha, continue, continue. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, this one will, will cause great deliverance to happen. Conscious and unconscious deliverance will be taking place as we are praying this prayer. Any sickness planted into my body in my sleep. Die! In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Masapokoya bo shentera bo kolaba. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 the sickness in the head, the sickness in the eyes, the sickness in the chest, the conscious sickness, the unconscious sickness, yes, die. Every sickness planted into anybody's life in the sleep, die, die. That's right. Every high blood pressure, I command you to die. Every trouble in the body, every trouble in the blood, every trouble in any part of the body, I command you to die. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we kill every infirmity. We kill every infirmity. We kill every infirmity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence, beloved. Let this operation be completed. The sickness in the head, one in the eyes, one in the chest, one in the stomach, one in the womb, one in the backbone, one in the legs. Something is happening. Something is happening. Their time is up. 
this serpent has disgraced you in so many areas. But right there where you are, there's an angel standing by your side, squeezing some parts of your body, squeezing it, and squeezing things out of the body. That's right. I decree by the decree of heavens, for it is written that every tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Anyone in this morning service that Luciferian night planters and night farmers have planted materials into their bodies or into any aspect of their lives. Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus, let this plantation of darkness be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Let the plantation of darkness be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Every plantation by night farmers. Die! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Before we now go to our barricading prayers, open to Psalm number 91. I want to get to read it together. Beginning from verse 1. Are we there? Praise of the Most High. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Say of the Lord is my refuge and fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers. And under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, or the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Now for the destruction of witches that lose thee. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but you shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my way. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore he will deliver me. He will set me on night because he hath no money. He shall call upon him and he will answer me. I will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. Amen. Close that Bible now. And you will say this loud and clear. I claim by fire. Every promise in that psalm. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Claim it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I place myself and my family inside the envelope of divine fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one. In Jesus' name we pray. This is our final prayer point before we go home. Say every Pharaoh. Goliath, Goliath and Herod. Can you say that loud and clear? That are troubling my Israel. Scatter in the name of Jesus. The Pharaoh, the Herod, and the Goliath. Troubling my Israel. Scatter. Jesus name we pray wonderful God we thank you as the people go into this month afresh let their testimonies abound let all your people be covered with the blood of Jesus it is written that the highs that keep at Israel shall end our slumber and sleep now no weapon form against you shall prosper let your anointing for protection be upon your people. 
and everything that you have uprooted here this morning shall never be planted again in the name of Jesus affliction shall not rise again in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father let us share the grace in fellowship